Good morning, everybody, and welcome to my Monday messages. And for those of you who might be new to this, my name's Rebecca. I'm a homeopath, a holistic life coach and natural health advocate. And I use my skills to help as many of uh, my clients as I can to become more conscious of where your boundaries are, where your edges are, and whether those edges are um, supporting you or whether they're restricting you or maybe a bit of both. And just um, having the confidence to explore the, those issues in a safe place. And my Monday messages are part of my commitment to just offering some kind of thought or idea or process or practice that helps us to, to do that, to be more familiar with who we are and how uh, things are working in the world. Thank you very much for the thumbs up. For some reason, I can't see any comments or who's watching. So I don't know why that's the case, but you're very welcome if you're watching live and you're equally welcome if you're watching on the replay. So today I wanted to talk about um, the idea of principles and it's something that I have been exploring in my own journey um, more recently in the context of um, looking at things like values and looking at beliefs. And I, I'm sure if you've been following me for a while that um, you'll know that values and beliefs, broadly speaking, are what actually drives our behaviour in um, a largely subconscious way, actually, and part of the work that I do is to bring as many of those to consciousness as possible so that we can understand that um, actually we can choose what we believe and what we value and we can kind of um, shift the order, the priority of those according to uh, the circumstances or the situations that we find ourselves in. And it doesn't mean to say we abandon them. Um, we just, as human beings, we make split second decisions based on their appropriateness for any given um, situation. So, for example, I might decide in one circumstance that it's actually better to make my top value kindness, being kind, um, rather than being honest. And I will therefore then find a way to prioritise the kindness piece in that um, without necessarily letting go of the honesty piece. And sometimes it will be the other way around. Um, so values to me are things that, and we have thousands of them, millions of them, um, based around all kinds of different um, uh, scenarios and uh, headings in our lives. And for me, the beauty of values is that we can, if we understand them, we can we can shift um, their order of importance. We can be, be quite fluid about how we use them <clears throat> if we're conscious of them. If we're not conscious of them, then we then it's very difficult to do that. So bringing the what is unconscious into consciousness is is a very big part of getting control over our own behaviours and our own um, responses and reactions. So principles. I, I posed a question in a group that I belong to over the weekend, and it was very interesting, the answers that came up. What is a principle? Um, and I've put in the comments the heading... Um, that a principle isn't a principle until it costs us something, um, which is an old saying that I was brought up with. So 
there's an element of sacrifice, I suppose, involved with our principles, or is there? And, and I'm going to be quite annoying today and ask you a series of questions because I don't think I have the answers to this, but I'm really interested in what your views are. What, if any, what principles do you feel define who you are um, or contribute to who you are? And by principles, I'm I'm really talking about the overarching truths, if you like, that you feel okay. That's immovable. That's that's not up for grabs. That's not negotiable. That's something that I would die in a ditch for. Um, you know, I'm I'm very aware of the fact that a lot of this came up for very many of us over the last two years. Um, and, you know, for me, I know there were moments when I thought I had to really think, OK, how far will I go with this? How, where, if any, are the boundaries? Am I prepared to lose my liberty to defend this principle? Um, and if so, what, what actually is that principle? How does it work for me? And how might it be restricting me in some way? Um, so, for example, the best, well, the best example I could come up with for my own self regarding principles is I believe um, and it's interesting language because is a principle a belief? Is it merely an idea, a belief that we grab hold of for some reason um, and cling to? Or is it bigger than that? Um, anyway, I digress. My, my, I believe utterly in bodily autonomy. What do I mean by that? I, I believe that it is every person's right, every sentient being's right, to um, choose what goes into our bodies and onto our bodies. And that is something I would, I would defend utterly. And it's actually what informs the way that I work as a health practitioner, but also the way that I live my life. So it's an overarching principle that goes, it's an umbrella that goes over everything. And within that, <clears throat> excuse me, there are various values and beliefs, and it, it kind of ripples down and informs just about every area of my life, I would say, actually. Um, it's, it's not up for grabs. It's not something that shifts. Um, it can be adaptable to, to, according to different circumstances, but it doesn't really change. So that, for me, it is a principle. Um, and when you look at the dictionary definition of a, a, a principle, um, there are some interesting definitions, actually. Um, and one of them is that it's a general law or a rule um, that is a guide to action. So um, that's one very general that, but um, it's one thing. It is described as a fundamental assumption that forms the basis for a whole chain of reasoning. And that's certainly my understanding of a principle. Um, other principles for me would be the principle of equality, whether that's racial equality, um, sexual equality, um, gender equality, um, 
it doesn't matter, um, species equality. Um, that's another principle for me. Um, I'm aware that we don't all have the same principles. And I'm also aware that our ability to defend those principles, to actually um, uphold them and be the keeper of them is very dependent on our life stories our, and our beliefs and our values. Um, so they're all bound up, but I think a principle for me inherently feels like it is a fundamental truth. It is something that I know, I feel in my heart is true. And that if I remember those truths, that I won't go far wrong, that I have a some kind of boundary, some kind of edge, some kind of container um, that um, allows me to be fluid within that um, but I know in my heart that this is a fundamental truth. Um, I'm not sure if I'm explaining things very well. Um, do, do please add your comments or your observations um, or your views um, about this. I think it's – I love exploring things like this because I think it helps me, and I know it helps a lot of my clients – um, to understand who we are and what's important to us um, and what might be running who we are in the world and how we respond and react to things. And, and then when we become conscious of them, we can ask ourselves, okay, where where did this come from? How is it working for me? Do I do I feel it is working for me, or do I feel that somehow it's um, becoming a bit of a straitjacket? Maybe um, it's interesting to understand perhaps what we might be prepared to sacrifice in order to uphold a principle. Um, it's interesting too when we think of how we use principles when we're describing people. You know, we often will describe somebody as, oh, she is a person of principles. She is very principled. Um, and that can feel valuable and um, worthy and something that we perhaps all aspire to. So what does it mean if we think, actually, I don't have any principles? I, everything's fluid. Everything is manoeuvrable and adaptable. And some would say that is the definition of health, actually, is to be inherently fluid and adaptable and um, almost chimeric in our in our ability to respond to any given situation. So if that's the case, where do our principles sit in that? Um, and if we have to compromise in some way, are we doing ourselves damage by doing that? Are we how does it feel if we're forced to compromise? our um, beliefs, our principles, um, or our values. Um, yeah, so that was just a, a kind of series of questions that I wanted to pose to you all this week and to really invite a discussion, a discussion with yourself um, or hopefully a, dis a discussion with with all of you, actually, because I think it's a really interesting subject. Um, it's it's just very interesting to think, where do these things come from, these ideas, these principles? 
what do they feel like when we're living our lives according to them? And what does it feel like when we don't for some reason? Um, yeah, and it's a massive subject, absolutely massive. And I would argue that a lot of ill health comes from us being untethered from our basic human principles. Um, so, yeah, so that's my message, really, is to just invite you to, to explore what are your principles? Do they feel um, supportive and strengthening and... Um, uh, guiding to you or do they feel yeah I'm not really sure about that actually anymore it's maybe not something that I want to live my life by I don't know or, or do you just not know and that's okay too um, but just uh, an invitation really to explore your guiding principles what are they? What do they mean for you? How far would you go to defend them? Um, and yeah, if you do feel like sharing, please do. Let's have a, a really meaty discussion about principles and what they mean to us. Um, so thank you so much for joining me. And let me have a look. Uh, no. I can see there's a few people watching, but I can't see who you are. Um, so I will just give five minutes or a couple of minutes to allow. I know there's a delay, but if there's any comments on principles and how maybe what they've meant for you in the past. Have you had to sacrifice anything? Oh, got work going on upstairs, so that's not a very nice noise today. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you do want to know any more about working with me to perhaps discover some of those principles and how they're working for you, then do click on the link with this video. And I will then say goodbye and have a wonderful week exploring your principles. Take care.